Tensions ratcheted up between the U.S. and Iran after Tehran downed an American drone. President Donald Trump says Iran is making a big mistake. But Iran says it has indisputable evidence that the drone had violated its airspace. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarid has said parts of the drone's wreckage have been retrieved in Iranian waters. For more on this, uh, let's cross over to Ahmed Kazani in Tehran for the Iranian perspective. Ahmed, Iranian state television today aired what appears to be debris from the U.S. military drone is shot down. Can you explain its significance? Uh, yes, indeed, it is very significant to show these Im images from Iranian state TV. First, uh, it somehow corroborates Iranian claims that it was traced and shot down in Iranian airspace and was recovered from Iranian uh, territorial waters uh, within <clears throat> nine miles from Iranian coastline, uh, contrary to what Americans saying that it was uh, in international uh, waters. Second, it's show, uh, showing these images kind of sends a message of deterrence which is, I think, very important because uh, <clears throat> when Iran shows that it traced and shot down a highly uh, sophisticated, a high, dro uh, high altitude steel drone, it, it's a kind of message of deterrence, which, uh, which, uh, which shows that Iran is capable of uh, facing uh, U.S. naval and aerial force in the region. Ahmed, what has the local response been to these rising tensions? Is there any growing fear of all-out war here? Uh, yes, of course. The tensions are very high here in the region, and the escalation is very high. You know, uh, since two years ago, the escalation has been rising incessantly. First, Trump walks out from the deal. Then he appoints people like Bolton and Pompeo who have been seeking war with Iran for a long time. Then uh, the, uh, the administration uh, puts an embargo on Iranian oil uh, export. Then designation of Iran IRGC as a terrorist organization. Then a massive military buildup in the region. And all the tensions have been rising incessantly. So when escalation is rising, and no de-escalation process in process, so uh, every, everyone in the region is is highly concerned about the possibility of these developments to a full scale all war in the region.